you can feel a, a, a bit of responsibility that you don't do a bad job, considering this has been standing for so long. So yeah, even though there's been add-ons in the 1800s and what have you, which probably weren't as good as what the Romans did, but yeah, that's what we're repairing now. Uh, just putting right uh, past work and uh, making sure that it'll stand for a lot longer. Uh, a giant jigsaw puzzle that's been taken apart, lost for a little bit, rediscovered and then put them back together. So it has been hard work. If you put a level on one of these, on any part of this step, it'll give you a different reading all along, so you just have to, yeah, you do have to have a bit of a feel for it. The bottom three, I think two or three courses have perished. So, as you can see, all this scaffold, it, it stripped down somewhat. They had a big uh, props, and basically holding up this entire wall while we took the bottom three courses of stone out, uh, put new foundations in and replaced it with new uh, red sandstone. We've had to have the archaeologist there, every stone we've taken out, he's had to be with us while we take it out so we could go through the mortar, the perish mortar. Uh, found a bit of Roman pottery and a, a rather large tooth, which I don't know where that comes from. But yeah, there's, uh, it's been a challenge just making this structure secure. Then we've been able to start working on the steps because effectively it's two different structures that we've built here. We've built the main wall and then the later add on the steps. So yeah, it's, it's been good though, it's been good. The other stonemason who's with me normally, he's 25, he's worked uh, with me since he left school. And we've recently got another young lad, 19, Lucas, who's started on uh, just this week. And it's hard to get young lads into this line of work. But yeah, they've found it really interesting because it's nice for them to do a job like this early on in the career, you know, rather than waiting you know, 10, 15 years, and then getting the chance to do it. So yeah, it's been nice for them as well. The thing I'm most looking forward to is when all the scaffold comes down, uh, we've finished, and we can stand back and have a look at it. At the moment, we're pretty confined in here, and it's hard to get a full view of it. So yeah, that's the bit I'm, I'm most looking forward to.